Hello, this is Chris Menard. I've got a great trick for you today in Microsoft Excel. I'm dealing with dates, and if you notice over in column A, someone emailed me this question and said that they're trying to do some data analysis using dates and nothing's working or not coming out correctly. And so I pointed out to them that even though they just see a date in column A, if you look in the formula bar, there is a date and a time. And I said, you really need to lose the time for what you're trying to figure out. And then the next question, obviously, is do you have a formula to do that? And the answer is, yes, I can do it with the formula, but you don't need to. So I'm going to convert. I'm going to lose the date, and I'm going to lose the time. I'm going to lose the time first. So I'm going to lose the time from the date. That'll be exercise one. And then I'm going to come over here and lose the date, and I'm not going to do any formulas. So here we go. I'm going to highlight all these dates that actually have time. Just to show you how this actually looks, you don't have to do this step. I went to Format Cells, and there is how this would look normally. I'm going to do Find and Replace, so Control H will pull up Replace. So I'm in the Find and Replace box. What is it you want to find? If you notice in cell A2, there's a space between the date and the time, the same with cell A3. So what I'm going to say is, I'm going to look for a space, so I'm hitting the space bar, and then a star, meaning everything. What are you going to replace that with? It's going to be absolutely nothing. So in replace with, I'm doing nothing. Up and find with, I did space bar, star. Replace all. Hit OK. It found 14 replacements. Let's go check that first. Close. Header row is in A1. The data stops in row 15, so that is 14. If you're saying, Chris, I still see time there. 12 a.m. is 0. .0. So I can simply go back here and hit short date. Look up in my formula bar. Perfect. Perfect. I'm good. So I just removed the time from a date and time with control H. Now going the other way, I want to keep the time, but I want to lose the date. So first I'm going to select them all. I'm going to go make these instead of a date format general. So I'm going to do format cells, control one. Notice my sample right here. I'm going to select general. Now look at my sample. Dates, I know I've said this hundreds of times, dates and times are numbers. So 327, 2019 is 43,551 as a number. 3 p.m. is 0.625. Midnight is zero. 12 noon would be 0.5. I'm going to hit OK. Perfect. I'm going to go Control-H to do a find and replace. I'm going to lose everything I just did, so there's nothing in here. So this time I'm trying to lose the date. So what, do you, what is it I want to find? But notice in, in D2 there's a decimal. So I'm going to do star decimal. So that will find everything up to the decimal place. And I'm going to replace it with just the decimal. So that was star decimal in the top box, just a decimal in the bottom box. That should lose the date, but keep the time. I should get 14 when I hit replace all. Perfect. Click OK. Close. Time is always decimals. Perfect. I'm going to go make this time. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm getting close to 500 videos. And I appreciate your help. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.